Hey, what's going on? So, uh, yeah, we're looking at Mark's Six Sense figures some more again today. Uh, still got all these out here on the table, and I still haven't uh, got a pan of hot water going to fix the base on uh, Sergeant Sleeper here, whatever we're going to call him. Uh, but I did notice that these two figures here on the left, <laughs> they look really good together in my opinion uh in now i don't believe that this is intentional although you know we know that marks did do this sort of thing intentionally you know we're looking at these figures down here that marks created that were purposefully supposed to fit together to uh to portray a scene you know and they fit together i don't know why this guy's not coming off for some reason so yeah they fit together and then you know separately You've got the karate guy and the guy stuck in the barbed wire. But together, you know, you got the guy in the fireman carry. And then these four pieces all fit together. You know, the two figures, the stretcher bearers and the stretcher. And then the the uh, the wounded soldier are all separate pieces. Um, what else? Oh, hang on. This one. I've got one more that I could think of. And then the circus came to town. Uh, this little, this little boy, trying to escape from this this police officer, this cop, in the early 1950s, from the circus super circus, Mark Super Circus. So these figures, they're not meant to go together, but they they look good together like this, right? Right? Looks like he's helping his buddy. Looks like he needs a bit of a hand. And uh, the three of them together, I think, make a really cool uh, team of, of uh, survivors. And boy, have they got their hands full. It's just those three guys. And then, of course, Private Doofus and Goofus back there who are probably more trouble than they're worth. These guys, they're taking a knee. And, yeah, so it's our three guys against this ridiculous force. Ilya Kiryakin, I'm not, you know, he's just hanging out at this point. So, yeah. I guess what I'm saying is, uh, until I get that base fixed, I like this, I like how that looks. I like the three of them together. And then, uh, well, let's look at this Fat Albert figure real quick since he's still out here. So this is from uh, late 70s, maybe. I don't know the exact date on this. On the back, it says made in Hong Kong, I think. Yeah. So uh, this isn't my original Fat Albert figure. This is a replacement. This is somebody else's. That I purchased off the internet, I, but I did have this figure as a kid, and I even remember the day that uh, my mother had the garage sale, and this was sold at the garage sale as well as my Rudy figure. Uh, I, I haven't replaced the Rudy figure yet, but I'll get it eventually. So yeah, a, a lot of stuff in that garage sale. All my my Mark's horses and my uh, original knights. But I wasn't interested in them anymore at that point, and I was ready to join the army and leave the house. So, most of my toys are gone. Only a few remain. And uh, all my comic books, I saved all my comic books, managed to salvage those. And at the time, I only had a couple boxes. I think I had three long boxes at the time and so they were they made it they were stuffed in a in a back closet until i got out of the army and then just a few other small toys that i managed to keep like my corgi batmobile and my corgi james bond austin martin a few other things so yeah once again just looking at these great marks figures
boy, these guys. So, yeah, you know, what I was noticing and what I think in closing here is that when you see these army men, these toy plastic soldiers in this larger scale, in my opinion, they become they become a little bit terrifying. Uh, you know, and obviously we're just talking about the Marx figures here. We're not, you know, talking about uh, that other stuff. We're talking about, you know, this this German machine gunner that we've looked at before that that doesn't look unhappy. Uh, yeah, he looks like he is uh, found a purpose in life, so that's pretty terrifying. Uh, these other people are engaging in you know perhaps the most terrifying action that one human being can have towards another which is engaging in warfare so marx man <laughs> marx managed to capture uh to capture that you know with the exception of uh Sergeant Stoner over here. He uh, he's got a couple privates to help him out of the blast zone, but I have a feeling this is this is a recurring dream for him. All right, <laughs> enough of this. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.